What's up guys and welcome back to Tom Does Details. In this video I'll be doing a complete exterior detail including applying a ceramic coating to my girlfriend's 2016 Audi SQ5. I'll be going over the specific steps and showing which products I use throughout. It's a lot of work, so let's get started. As you can tell, this Audi is filthy. You'd never guess that her boyfriend is a detailer. I guess I'm slacking. Besides the dirt, there are plenty of swirl marks and light scratches, and there's a few other things that we're gonna take care of, and then we're gonna ceramic coat it to protect it. Here's just a quick overview of all the products I'll be using, including the headphones I use when I detail. Don't worry, all the links to the products and tools I'm using in this video will be down in the description below. Here you can see I have three buckets that I'm gonna to use to wash the car. One is a wash bucket, one is a rinse bucket, and then one bucket is dedicated solely for the wheels. Look at how much dirt is coming off these wheels. So for the tires, I'm using a, an all-purpose cleaner diluted 10 to 1 and a hard bristle brush. And then I'm using Meguiar's wheel brightener, spraying it inside the barrel of the wheel and the outside of the wheel. And then I'm grabbing my wheel woolly, just to scrub the inside barrel and then I have a detail brush to get into the lug nut areas, the brake caliper, and any hard to reach areas. And then finally, my mitt to do the outside surface of the wheel. Now that the car is fully rinsed, I'm going to be using my foam cannon and spraying the car with a nice layer of foam just to add some lubrication. So here it's still early in the morning. Uh, but the sun is coming out and you don't normally want to wash your car in the sun but in this case i know i'll be polishing so the water spots that might come on the paint aren't going to matter as much now i'm going to be washing the car with a mitt starting from the top and working my way down to the bottom the bottom of the car uh, usually has more dirt and you don't want to be carrying that dirt and wiping the other panels so always start at the top and work your way down I also use a little yellow bug sponge for the bottom trim panel, the rocker panels, and uh, the 
side mirrors that usually have bug splatter, also the front grill. Now, once the car is washed and rinsed, I'm going to be doing a chemical decontamination. I'm using Iron X by Car Pro. You simply spray it onto the panel. You wait a couple minutes. It'll start turning purple, reacting to the, the iron and the, and the metal contaminants. And then you, uh, you rinse off. Now that the car is chemically decontaminated and rinsed off, it's time to dry it off and bring it inside. All right, now that the car is inside, I'm going to clay bar the car using a nano skin sponge. It's a, I think it's a medium grade sponge. Uh, and also using ONR diluted as a clay lubricant. All right, so after you spray the panel with ONR and spraying a little bit onto the sponge itself, you're going to move the sponge across the panel using a single direction. You don't want to go in circles because that's actually going to cause uh, some swirl marks. Um, now you might still scratch the panel from claying, um, but we're going to be polishing afterwards, so it doesn't matter too much. Then you're simply just gonna wipe down the panel and even wiping down, I go in one direction, back and forth, not, not you know, buffing in a circular motion. Also going to be claying the windows and the windshield to get all the contaminants off the glass. This is going to help with uh, water beating. All right, guys. So just finished washing the car, 
chemical decontaminating it and clay barring it. It's uh, as some of you know, uh, I'm in Florida. It's 86 degrees out right now. I'm in my garage and I'm sweating. So I think it's time to take a little break. All right, after a little dip in the pool, feeling pretty good. Now into the next step, I'm gonna polish the car. I inspected the paint and uh, it's really not too bad. So I'm just gonna do a one step polish on it. I'll show you the products I'm about to use and then uh, we'll go from there. So what I'll be using is a Eurofiber, it's like a microfiber pad, kind of like an all in one. And then I'm also using a 3D one, kind of like an all in one compound and polish uh, product. So with pads like these and microfiber pads, you want to prime the pad. So you, I spread the product onto the pad and then I'm um, literally just going to use my finger to spread it around and you want to get all the fibers with the product on it. Now I typically separate the hood into four imaginary sections and I work one section at a time. Just dab the pad onto the work area and then I set the speed to around two and spread the product onto the work area. Then once the product is spread, I set it to a speed five and slowly work in the product. and I'm moving in a cross hatch pattern with medium pressure. The slower and more pressure you use, the more correction you're gonna get and vice versa. So here around the wheel wells, there's this black piece of trim. I'm gonna cover it with tape so I don't get any uh, compound or polishing residue on there. It kind of turns it white and then you know, it's just more work for you.
So you can see here in between the doors and the rocker panel, there is this uh, brown kind of line. I'm not sure what it is, but you can't just wash it off. It doesn't come off easily. So uh, I, even, I was having a hard time polishing it off. So what I'm gonna do is actually use uh, a magic eraser. Now a magic eraser is basically just 3000 grit sandpaper. So it's going to dull the paint here and afterwards, you're definitely gonna have to uh, compound or at least polish to bring that shine back. You also wanna be careful not to rub too hard, too fast, and for too long because you can you know, burn the paint. So I'm simply taking a brand new magic eraser using the O&R to give it some lubrication. It's almost like wet sanding. And then I'm gonna polish using this uh, foam tipped, it almost looks like a Q-tip. I'm gonna put a little bit of the 3D1 on there and then by hand, polish that area. that same foam q-tip kind of thing that I used for that rocker panel. Uh, I'm gonna do it to polish the inside of the emblem. And finally, just gonna polish up the headlights and taillights quick. I know I'm gonna ceramic coat them, so I just kinda wanna prep them, get any little fine scratches out of them before uh, you know ceramic coating them. There's this one corner that uh, I can't really get with my big five inch pad, so I use my drill foam pad attachment. All right, now that the car is fully polished, one more step before we apply the ceramic coating and that is to wipe down the panels. I use CarPro Eraser. It just helps get all the oils off the panels, any fingerprints, and uh, kind of just uh, helps the ceramic coating process. So here's a little unboxing video for the Avalon King Armor Shield 9 ceramic coating. So inside you get uh, some instructions, a plastic card to help put the suede into the applicator sponge the bottle of ceramic coating. Microfiber buffing towel. The applicator sponge. 
some gloves, and the suede. Yes, it is dark in my garage and it's not ideal, but it can be done. I use my portable Husky light that I move around the car with me and I check my work using an Astro handheld light. So you wanna wrap the suede around your applicator sponge, take the bottle of coating and do around 10 drops onto the suede. So when applying ceramic coating on the hood, I normally do it in uh, two sections. And you just want to put the sponge on the paint and you're just gonna glide it back and forth in one direction and then reapply anytime it starts to drag. Just want you want it to be nice and smooth and you want it to glide. So anytime it starts to like, kind of drag on the paint, just reapply a couple dabs onto the sponge and continue. And then after going up and down, I go back and forth kind of doing a cross hatch pattern. Now you want the coating to flash before you buff it off. It depends on the humidity level and the temperature. Here it's around a minute and 30 seconds for me. Um, so I use my iPhone as a timer and then after that, just buff it off. Now a ceramic coating is going to protect your car from UV and sunshine damage, weather erosion, acid rain, uh, even will make it, even if you like did graffiti on your car, it'll be easier to get off. Some light scratches, fur droppings, where it like etches the paint, uh, tree sap, anything like that that would damage your paint normally, it's gonna protect it from that. It's also gonna add hydrophobic properties so that means uh, a lot of water beading and water sheeting. The water will glide right off the paint, making it a lot easier to, uh, to wash. So waiting for your ceramic coating to flash can get a little boring. So, uh, you know, do whatever you gotta do. Listen to music, get into it. ceramic coating is done there is a cure time so you want to keep it out of uh, the elements kind of out of the uh, wet weather you, you definitely don't want it to rain on the car for 48 hours the longer it dries you know the better it's gonna be so avoid washing with soap and using other chemicals for at least five to seven days for this specific coating that we need a guiding light right now we're running around in circles but if you don't even want to try i need to know it can we just open up cause i got to know if you feel the guys after roughly 12 hours we are finally done if you guys made it this far i just want to take the time to thank you and without further ado here are the results if you guys enjoyed the video 
or thought it was satisfying, maybe even learned something, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks, guys.